Have I been hurt? Hard time. You are the hard time. Jesus was there helping me, strengthening me. If you are hurt, God is with you. So you can help other people. My name is Sandra Wangar. I come from Elko Island, Kalawitko Elko Island. Even I can still remember my father, but I grew up with my uncles. Not really interest in school, you know, but not really thinking about the future. Just growing up had fun, then start family and then went to Martula, just living off the land. Simple life. We used to go to Sunday school, you know, during the mission time. And I had that little treasure inside of me. But we see with family, it didn't thought of it. When we was living at Tarawar, family fellowship, every evening, because all the old people were teaching us and helping how to be strong. That's how I got living for Jesus, but it was just on the surface. But the turning point for me was when I was living at Tarawar. I had a dream. The whole world was going to be flooded. People are asking God for help. And a couple of days later, Yurajil called me. Miwangar, can you come to the translation? I want somebody to help me. When I went down, I saw that post up right on the front door. Psalm 121, Jambar Pungu language. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. I remembered about that dream I had at, at Tarawar. And from that time, I'm working now at the Bible Translation Center. I first met Wangar in 1994. God had been calling her to work in the translation center with the Bible translation team. By 2008, when we were part of a team of eight people, we were able to see the New Testament dedicated in this community at Galiwinkle. Mary, skid mu told us to give thank you to every department to help, especially Bible Society. I made my first presentation. I got interest about media. And Wang got to say at the end of that, you know what I'd really like to do? There's very many different ways that we can share God's word and I want to work on those many different ways. Together we started responding to people's needs. For Sunday school, youth night, for kids club. Wangad was showing exceptional aptitude in her media interests, learning all about computers and PowerPoint presentations and movie makers. In different ways, especially telling stories about Bible stories. At the same time, teach them about Jesus to go more deeper so you can be more closer to him in a deeper way of life. In 2013, I went for media studies at Nungalinya College. Different ways of looking Jesus. 
you can see clearly God's head in all creation of how big God is. I got start wondering how I'm going to teach when I go back. I used to help all the other students. Then Warwick asked me to come back for teaching media assistant. But I do see that her confidence in the media work has grown so that she can be helping community when she's back here. 25 years now at the Translation Centre with Margaret. We've talked about, well, who is it that's asking for help and who is it that needs Bible studies? When I went to Millingenby to take that presentation about God's nature. She took all her equipment, her data projector, her computers, and set it all up there in the park. And she had everyone absolutely full with their attention. I saw a lot of people, especially old people, crying. Maybe it touched their heart, you know. Simple scripture in use. Jambar Pungul language. Then I saw it down here in the community when we went down beach camp. The screen up on the front wall of the house, it reached out to not just one household, but many households. They want me to go back there, Millinginbi and Ramangini. The right timing and God's will, where that might take her in the future, only God knows. In my heart, yeah, I want to go out that way, bush. Maybe make a big trip and visit other community because old people, you know, old people dying. You have to teach your young people, help them how to live, how to see Jesus with their own life, you know, everyday, daily life. Yeah, yeah. They can sing, they can pray, not really following. If you are good educated here, in your mind, but not in your heart, you are nothing. That's how I see people. And if I see young people, strong heart and faith in Christ, teach them to draw closer to God, or to know Jesus more, and teach them how to help other people the resource at the Bible Translation Center. That's hoping in the future. I'll always be with you. Jesus is like a friend, but really deeper friend. No matter how bad you are, Jesus is there. Be there always. Even if you are away from the family, Jesus is there, and you know Jesus is there with them. And you can feel comfort, peace here and there with your family. Wherever we go, we have big trouble, the kind of problem, Jesus is there. And we can be also like that to help comfort other people and bring them closer to myself and to God. I hope all the young people know their future right now. Come together to learn more about Jesus so they can help their people, their tribe, be able to bring them closer to God. That's what I'm looking for, with the help of the Holy Spirit now. Yeah.